So hi guys, uh, Tim uh, back here for another military video. Mil military video, sorry. I am with uh, Toby again, um, who has kindly brought over his 1937 pattern British Army Second World War entrenching um, entrenching tool kit, as I like to call it. Um, so thanks, Toby. So. Um, as you're probably going to tell, this is going to be a review of one. So uh, before we actually get into kind of the ins and outs and little little bits of what's actually included in the 37 pattern entrenching tool, um, just a little bit of a background history of it. It is a virtually a full copy of what the British Army adopted in 1908, known as the 1908 pattern um, webbing entrenching tool, which is basically the same thing, but the actual... Um, shovel and spade pick canvas holder was much larger kidney shape than this one was or this one is um, and that's it really so in 1937 the British Army adopted the 1937 pattern web equipment and including of course a slightly modified newer design just slightly of the uh, entrenching tool that they carried over from the First World War so um, what you have is you have the halve which is the kind of the holder here where the actual pick shovel slides onto and you can actually hold it as kind of like a, a you know just anything a hammer or anything you can hold it in your hand like that and the actual pick and shovel is inside the canvas webbing cover it is really clever the design so if we take the shovel the actual halve off there it's just a one piece solid bit of uh, wood not sure exactly on the wood it is but, um, and then it's got a metal reinforcing um, tongue at the top for the actual halve, um, the actual head, sorry, to actually go on. Because what it does, it, it connects on, slides up there, and then it wedges against there. And you probably can't see it, I'll zoom in a bit. It's actually slightly tapered at the top, uh, at the top very slightly, because it uses friction to hold the actual head um shovel on yeah so then you've got the canvas bag 37 pattern webbing of course um it's in a it's in a kidney it's in a, a kidney shape because of course that's the side that goes against your your bottom on the on your back um, and then the halve of course sticks out that way so it kind of it does the shape of your your bottom there this example is you probably can't see it Camera and zooms in. Their 1942 example with water part mark there. All of them are going to be stamped in there, and I've not actually seen anywhere else where it is stamped. Um, sometimes on the actual halve itself, uh, you can get markings on there, sometimes date, sometimes not. Uh, this example isn't marked or dated, but pardon me, but as I say, you can get them marked and dated um, either. On the actual wooden handle or the actual um, metal collar. As I say, this one isn't date dated. So if I open it up, use the typical bracing system of the, of the 37 pattern webbing, which is common throughout the, uh, the gear. If I get it up. So we take out the shovel head, sorry, there, it just slips into this little bag um, here. Very neat. Here it is. Big cast iron um, piece. So you can see the shovel and then you've got the pick. And now these are always dated if you turn them over. So it's kind of, as I said, and also you see where the um, the bag was, or the cover was um, um, kind of semi-circle design to fit the the curvature of your bottom is because of the actual head itself because that's curved as well to do the same thing um, so these are always going to be stamped and dated where the oh, sorry, where the curve is down there it's always going to be dated there so if you zoom in I think that one's up there oh yeah sorry up there uh, up you probably can't see it but it's dated right where my finger is there and it is Dated 1941, dated, which you probably can't see, but it's there. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's not there. It's, it's on the other side down there. Um, so how you fit them is very simple. You don't slide it on like that. Yeah. You slide it on that way round. So you get the shovel. We got the half. Sorry. Slide it in there. You slide it down along like that, and then. What the British servicemen would do, which I'm not going to do, is really ram it in so it fits on their tight and then you can use it as a, a pick. It's like, so guys, um, we're a bit fumbling around. Thanks for watching on the review of the British Second World War 1937 pattern British Army Entrenching Tool um, kit. So thanks for watching, guys. See you then, and see you in the next video. Bye.